Hello, this is Radon IDE by Subtle Mention, a VS Code and Cursor extension that turns your code editors into fully featured IDEs for developing React Native and Expo apps. You can open all sorts of React Native and Expo projects with it, and without any additional configuration, it will launch your app in the panel that's embedded in the editor. It runs both iOS simulators and Android emulators. One of my favorite features of it is the element inspector right here. I can click it and then hover over elements to see each element individual dimensions. Now I can click it to jump to the place where this component is defined. Alternatively, I can right click anywhere on the screen and it will show me the exact view hierarchy of this component. In our app, we have this setting button right here. I can click it. To see how it's implemented, I can right click here and go to the implementation. I can see an alert being opened here. Without any additional configuration, I can put the breakpoint directly in the text editor. Now when I click on the settings, the debugger will post execution. I can use this button to step over. I can open the debugger console uh, to inspect variables, or I can just resume execution. Radon IDE supports Expo Router linking scheme. When I move between the screens, I can see the URL bar updates. I can click the URL bar to see the history of different routes, and I can use it to move between the screens. The extension allows me to change device settings on the fly to see how that impacts app layout. So here I can change the text size to big or small. I can adjust location, localization, and so on. This button right here locks something to the console. I can see that because there is a counter here that updates. When I click on it, I can see it locks an object and I can check its details right in the console. But the best part is on the right hand side, I have this link that moves me to the location where the lock is printed. Let's now go to the messages component. With Radon IDE, you can use our NPM package that comes with a preview functionality. You can use preview to render any component and iterate on it in a fully isolated environment. So here we have this link, open preview. Once we click it, we can make any adjustments. For example, remove this angry face icon. If you are using Storybook in your project, this may look very familiar. Radon IDE can work with Storybook by providing similar level of integration. Here, we have two stories. With Radon IDE, you get a button that allows for this story to be selected and rendered on the device. So we can focus on selected story and iterate on its implementation. And that's it. Thanks for watching.